and cook with Susan Beck. Well, welcome back to my channel. I've taken a little break from making some videos, but I am going to make two videos this week and next week on how to make homemade yogurt. I have been making my own yogurt for about two and a half years, and I get a lot of questions from people on how to do it. So I'm going to show two different methods. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade yogurt in a crock pot. And then my following video will be how to make homemade yogurt in a yogurt maker, which is how I do it now. But for, I guess, the first year and a half, I think I made all of my yogurt in a crock pot and then I got a yogurt maker for Christmas and switched. But the process is very, very similar. My suggestion would be make yogurt in a crock pot first. And if you find that it's something you're gonna stick with and make on a regular basis, then you might like to invest in a yogurt maker. Now you don't need very many supplies to make yogurt. Let's have a look at what is needed. You only need two ingredients, whole milk and some yogurt starter. You can use yogurt that you buy at the store as your starter. I'll talk more about starter in a minute. And then you need a thermometer, a whisk, and a crock pot. Something to measure the milk with is helpful. Oh yes, and because we're doing this in the crock pot, you will need some towels to wrap your crock pot in. So I just use pasteurized whole milk that I just pick up at my convenience store in these half gallon bags and I just pour it into a pitcher. Now you can buy yogurt starter if you would like to and then you would um, begin with that. But it's a lot simpler if you just begin with any Greek yogurt that has active, active cultures. So. I will be using my yogurt that I've already made. My sister made this to begin with and she passed on a jar of it to me and I used her yogurt as my starter. So if you have a friend or you know me personally, I would be willing to share some of my yogurt with you and you can begin making your own yogurt. Now, this yogurt starter is not going to be put into our crock pot until later. In fact, I wanna keep this cold for a bit. So back to the fridge it goes. I usually make three or four cups of yogurt at a time. I have found if I stick with three, it seems like it sets up a little bit better in my crock pot. This is just an appetizer size crock pot that holds six cups, but I am going to just put in three cups of milk and I am going to set the dial to high. I've already plugged it in over there and I am going to put the lid on the top. Now, this will take about an hour to come up to 180 degrees, thus the need for a thermometer, whether you use a candy thermometer or this is a meat thermometer, it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. But I need to get this up to 180 degrees before I can continue on. And at that step, I will be putting in my yogurt. This starter. is what we're looking for. We want our milk to reach 180 degrees. Remember that was just whole milk, nothing else has been added. So now is when I set my yogurt out. Whether you're using that yogurt, that Greek plain yogurt from the store, or you're using a starter yogurt from someone, you're going to set this out so that it comes to room temperature. We want it at room temperature when we're ready to add it to our whole milk. This whole milk, which we've heated to 180 degrees, I just simply lift out of the crock pot let it get cooled off. I'm going to turn this off. I don't need it on anymore. I'm going to plug it here. And I am just going to let this sit now until it gets down to 110 degrees. All right, we've reached that temperature of 110 degrees like we wanted, and we're ready to add in some of our yogurt. And I am going to take a little bit of the milk out of the crock pot because it's still 110 degrees. It's still a little bit on the warm side. And that yogurt that we had sitting out, bringing it at least a little bit closer to room temperature needs to be mixed into our whole milk. Now I am going to use a tablespoon for every cup. So since I had three tables, three cups of milk, I'm going to use three tablespoons of my homemade yogurt. 
All right, I am then going to whisk that together. And just like when you're um, making, I don't know, like a lemon meringue pie or something, or things when you're adding eggs, it always helps to do the mixing separate from the major part of it. That way your yogurt mixes in better and I guess it doesn't curdle and stuff like that. All right, so now in all of it goes to our three cups of whole milk. So we had three tablespoons of our yogurt mixed in with three cups of our whole milk. Now you might be wondering why we bothered to heat the milk up and then cool it back down. Well, the um, reason behind that is you're gonna get thicker, better yogurt if you heat it. Um, something happens with the um, proteins in there and also if there would happen to be any bacterias or anything, this would take care of it. All right, we are then, because we're not gonna use a yogurt maker, we're going to just keep it in this crock pot. We want it to retain some of its heat. So we are going to wrap it up, I'm put my lid on it, of course, here, and I'm just gonna wrap it in some towels here, and if I put another one over the top, and this is going to sit for, well, I like eight hours. I tend to make my yogurt as I'm making supper. I start getting it heated up and so forth, so that, um, as it's nearing bedtime, my yogurt is all wrapped up and ready to sit. And then when I get up in the morning, it is finished and it's not runny anymore. It's just a nice, thick, creamy yogurt. So we have an eight hour wait to see if this whole milk turned into some lovely yogurt. Let's take a look at what we have now that our yogurt has been sitting for eight hours. All right, look at that set up. Notice how it's not running. It jiggles a little bit in there. It does sometimes not set quite as well in the crock pot. I've never had trouble with my yogurt maker, so it's a little on the soft side because it hasn't been chilled yet. But we're gonna put it into the refrigerator. So now we have yogurt and it's ready to be eaten. Again, I like to make it in the evening. Then I've got the eight hours while I sleep, while it sits wrapped up in a crock pot and towels. Then the chilling really is important to kind of finish it off. It's pretty well set in the morning, but it's very warm. And I guess I like my yogurt cold, just like I do all my dairy products. And you will find that this yogurt is just smooth and creamy. Mm. It's just got excellent, excellent texture. And um, you will find it's a little tart. Remember, there is no sugar in it. Feel free to add some honey. I also love topping it with raisins and pecans or walnuts or almonds, granola, poppy seeds. Put a little something on the top of it. And um, I think you will love this homemade yogurt in a crock pot. As well. Tune in next week and I will show you how to make yogurt in a yogurt maker. Same process, just using a little kitchen appliance.